Hello everyone, this is Kingsley from Bless Channel. I'm here again with another WordPress tutorial and in this video I am going to be showing you how to create your own animated thank you page. I believe if you can see my screen very well, you love what you are actually seeing. So I'm going to be showing you how to create something like this with all this animation and popping up on your thank you page so this can can see the page i'm going to be showing you how to add this effect to your page this is my header and this is my footer but this is where i'm going to be focusing on just this to show you how to create something like this so that when a customer buys or place an order on your website it, it will take it's going to take the person to a confirmation page like a thank you page where he's going to notify the person that your his or her order or the place or order have been confirmed or so that's just like thanking the person for placing an order on your website so i'm going to be showing you how to design this step by step without further ado let's go straight into the tutorial hello everyone this is king slave from blessed channel in case you're just joining me for the first time please and please click on the subscribe button and don't forget to always click on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video or so that you'll be the first to be get be notified whenever i upload new videos now to begin with this i'm going to be going to my pages you can see i'm, I'm on my dashboard this is my page I, i'm on pages then i'm going to add a new page to this i'm going to create a new blank page so once i click on it it's going to open up my page for me so i'm going to now i'm going to just once this opens i'm going to now click on i'm going to add a title yeah i'm going to let me just make this name this thank you page thank you page so that it's be different from what we have on the other one okay once i've added the name of the page so i'm going to now come here and hit on publish i'm going to click on publish and make it visible too so now clicking on that making that visible so now i'm going to now close this once i close that i'm going to now click here edit with elementor so i'm going to edit this page with elementor so by the time it's opening so let me refresh this place that you see the new page the thank you page i've added to this you are going to see the thank you page now that i've created I'm trying to refresh it you can see my page has been refreshed then if i should scroll down you're going to see the thank you page over here so now i'm going to now come to you can see the page is opening up on the part on elemental so i'm going to be you can see i only have my header and my footer yeah so now i'm going to now go ahead into creating remember this is what we are having so now i'm going to quickly create add this part and also this part with the button on this so i'm going to add these three elements to my design then i will now how do i do that i'm going to click here you can see i'm actually using making use of container I'm, in my designs here i'm using making use of container you can ask now come here and bring in my text you can see i'm having okay let me first of all bring in my button i'm going to bring in my button you can see my button this is my button so i'm going to now bring in two texts i'm going to bring in this okay and another text so let me get this now i'm going to just copy this part so i don't want to start typing all over again so since i have this let me just copy it so i'm bring it here and replace it with what i have over here so now i'm going to now on this side i'm going to align it to the center and on this also i'm going to come here and align it to the center so come here i can now insert my custom theme i want I want to make it text color yeah i want to my body text then let's say the 
size of the text i want to make it 18 on the button i want to make you can see the button text is returned to home page so i'm going to do that on that of the button i'm going to do that on that of the button so i'm i've added that so you can just customize your button the way you want your button to look like so i'm going to on this side come to here and on the background of the button i'm going to change it to what's this now oh sorry let me make use of this so on this i can just customize your button the way you want it to be but i'm going to leave mine the way it is now so let me see okay so i'm going to now duplicate this part i'm going to duplicate it into two remember we're having two there so your order has been placed your order okay okay now let me see your order now here is it so now okay i made a mistake let me drag this off okay this is it now i'm going to now the next thing i'm going to bring in now is my animated you can see i'm going to click here and look for what we've referred to as our animated text so once you do that this is it i'm going to drag this over to this part some of this future you can you won't be able to make use of it if you don't have an element elemental pro something like this our animated text so if you are to get that you have to check check the description box below you are going to see a link where i where to purchase your elemental pro in case you don't have one note you're not going to incur any charges when you use my link to purchase your elemental pro so you can just try to use my link so that i'll get compensated from for referring you to make purchase using my link so now i'm going to now go ahead and bring in your thanks your order thanks for your order okay then i'm going to come here you can see the text and the text you have this is page so now on this part now i'm going to say thanks for now i'm going to now come to where i have this you can see i'm having highlighted so i'm going to instead of highlighted i'm going to make it to be let me first of all let me come here and change this color so that you uh, so that you see what i'm actually referring to so i'm going to make this this is the color and this side should be this color so you can be able to see what i'm having there so now, instead of highlighted i'm going to make use of rotating so you now have other few listen to add so i'm going to thanks for your thanks for your order then on this other one you can say thanks for your patronage patronage so you can still add as many options as you want but i'm going to be making use of only this now if you check if you check out how how this particular design is changing you're going to see it's not really changing the way i want so i'm going to come here and select clip I want it to be clipped so you can see so you can try all this and see how it works it is for you so you can just try out try out something but this is simply the animation for that particular site so now what i'm going to now do i'm going to now go ahead to bring in one other thing you can see i've successfully showed you how to get this so now i'm going to be showing you how to add this particular one so now i'm going to go to my page again i'm going to click here and now we are going to be making use of lotify so i'm going to create just search for lotti l o double t i e so just search for it then i'm going to drag it here so this is my lotify you can see this is the default what comes with elementor so now for me to be doing this i'm going to be making use of i'm going to be I make i have actually have i have the file downloaded already so i'm going to be placing two links in the description box below so now one of the link is going to be taking you to the website where you can download the lotifies yourself you can search for that's to to the lotify website where you can 
get your own lotify yourself you can get anyone and make use of it so but if you want to follow along with this tutorial you can still check the description box you see the i'm going to drop a link where you can download this particular one and actually use it so you can make use of download it and try it yourself i will encourage advise you i will encourage encourage you to try it yourself at least try to get what i actually produce so that you will be able to follow along with the tutorial very well so now i'm going to be dropping those two links in the description box below just ensure you click on it and get all those files downloaded don't worry it's everything is for free so now i'm going to now make use of i'm going to now go ahead to bring in the file i have here so now i'm going to have already uploaded that file into my file so i'm going to, you can click on here to upload the file you want so i already have my uploaded already so i'm going to now import it to my so let me just search for it i think this is the one and you can see this is another one i'm not going to be you can see i have several ones i actually brought imported here so i'm going to now click on here i'm going to ensure i bring in that particular one i'm actually looking for i think this is it this is the one i'm actually used for that tutorials for this for that particular design this is the one i actually use but if you notice when i brought it it's actually after animating once it stopped so i'm going to be showing you how to make it to actually look and how to make it to fit in very well so you come to settings when you come to settings you're going to now set the position the playback speed now on this side you can see we are having loop so i'm going to click on this and loop it you can see it's now it will continue playing all along so on this side i'm not going to now come to where i have i will leave the playback speed as default you, you can if you should reduce this it will make it slower and if you increase it to make the speed faster so you can just try along with it and but i'm going to just i just need this this way so i'm going to now now on this loop you can set how many times you want it to loop so you might not want it to loop into infinity maybe you want it to loop maybe five times and stop so you can set the time period here how many times you want it to loop but i want mine to be infinity that's why i didn't add anything here so now i'm going to now on the start point you can see we have zero and we have 100 but i'm going to make my 90 here and also make yeah it should start from like point two so it won't start directly from the beginning so i'm just going to leave mine like this then now i'm going to now on this side you can make it to be either reverse to come you can see but i'm going to make it leave it the way it is so once i'm done with this i'm going to now come to where i have the size going to come to the size and can make it increase the size to what i want so for this i'm going to be increasing it to like 80 percent of this screen you can see i have like 80 percent here so now on the maximum fee weight i'm going to make it 100 you can see i have 100 here but you can see by the time i increase this everything is just looking weird for me so now i'm going to now show you how to adjust everything so don't be scared of what you actually seen so before that i'm going to now hold on a little i'm going to come over here and click on i want to click on this and edit this container so i want to give this container a specific size so i want this container to be 1200 in terms of the width then i'm going to make come here and add some padding to this container let me say the bottom i want it to be 50 and the top i want it to be 50 then this side i want it to be 300 so everything goes out filled in very well so you can see now it's now this is now at the center so by the time i increase this at least the size is a reasonable extent so i'll try to make sure i compress them so that we just stick to the center here so now i'm going to now click on this particular lotify here and now come to this side i'll have it i'm going to come to where i have the margin because i need to make this particular text to flow on top of it so now i'm going to click on this and click 
remove this negative on check clean this then i'm going to make this negative 180 on my if you're following my you can i can actually follow along negative 180 and on this top here i'm having it as negative at the bottom i'm going to make it negative 200 negative 200 so by the time i do that when i think you can see the job is done so now i can click on you can see the size of this thing i need to increase this a little so that it fits very well so now i can now come to my animated text i'm going to come to the style and increase the size of the text so i'm gonna make it something like 20 let me see 20 is too small so let me see So I'm going to make it, let me say, 35. I'm going to make it 35 and see. Now, let me close this. I think I'm okay with the 35. So the next thing, only thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to close up some of this spacing so that the button will appear. You can see it's looking as if the button is too far away. It's separated. So I'm going to click here and just reduce the remove the negative margin and let's say margin 20 negative margin 20 and i'm going to copy it and copy the same style to this one so you can see by the time i close this you can see my thank you page is actually completed so you you can see this is how i actually came up with this particular design here you can see everything is looking out very very beautiful as we have it here so now you can just play along with all this your fonts and your other things so you can try this out with any other designs you want to use you can go as i said you can go to the notify website and download some animated video uh, icons for your designs and make use of it so now i'm going to now go you have seen this is for the desktop version now you you want this to be responsive so i'm going to now go to where i have my response my responsive view and come to my text mobile view you can see this is what i have you can now change this designs to fit so that everything will come out well so i'm going to now come here and click here edit container right click on it edit container so i'm going to make you this all these parts generally 40 so i'm going to make it 40 so you can see my animated text and everything you can just reduce this files this size of the text the way you want it but i just want to sh show you something here then come here on this part of on this one now you can see also the text is out the animated uh, icon is actually out that's the file the notify is not no longer showing so i'm going to now come to for the that i'm going to come to the top and make it zero then on the bottom i'm going to make it 30 and on the left and right and make it 30 20 and on this side also 20. so now this is what we have so now one more thing i'm going to be doing here i'm going to on this text i'm going to reduce the size of the text then come here and reduce it to let's say something like 18 and see 18 you can see my lotify is not yet out still so now i'm going to now come over click here and reduce this one this size a little also then same thing with this i'm going to reduce it a little also or let me just copy this and paste it over here now on this particular one you can see on the lotify i'm just trying to see okay i've clicked on the lotify you can just find a way of clicking on it or on the lotify then you now come here i'm going to reduce this instead of minus 180 i'm going to make it to be minus oh, let me unlink this first let me unlink this i'm going to unlink it you can see everything comes out so now i'm going to make it minus 20 minus 20 then on this particular on the other one i'm going to make it minus 50 i'm going to make it minus 50 so you can see how everything goes so now this is how you actually you can actually play along with your own and make yours the way you want it to be 
so but i believe you might have learned from this particular video you can see how every, let me update this and open it in a, in my browser so that you see how everything looks like so let me open the page on my browser now so you can see how everything looks like you can see the animation showing very well you can see. so you can try this you can add this to your designs and make your work very beautiful so i believe you might have learned from this tutorial in case you're still watching this video and you've not yet considered subscribing please ensure you subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video so until next time this is where i'm going to stop if you have any video idea or any challenges anywhere you want me to help out you can actually drop in the comment box below i will try my best to see how to answer so until next time bye for now